hello everybody on simply foodia youtube channel today we are going to talk about what are the types of the food hazards first of all we must know what are the hazard definition then we are talking about the types the hazard definition on the food if there is any physical or chemical or microbiological or even quality property that can alter or taint or damage or render useless any critical property of a product or food or process which may result in a risk to health and safety or even quality deterioration second thing we are going to talk about what are the types of the food hazards first type was the physical hazard then chemical hazard biological hazard allergens quality hazard and regulatory hazard there's six types of the food hazards there is no any hazard uh, recently uh, discovered out of these six types uh, later on on simply Fodia will explain each hazard of these hazards in a very detailed uh, criteria or even uh, uh, explanation let's have an example of what I was talking about this meal might be your normal meat stick there is a potato there is a meat with bones uh, st your stick meal there is an egg there is a naroka uh, green leaf so wait there is an hazard in this the four types of hazards in this meal let's check up what this types there is might be a physical hazard and the potato why we will understand there might be an allergen hazard from the egg chemical hazard from the roca and biological hazard from the stick meat okay as you, as you can see on your meal just only four uh, hazard and this is very very big uh, quantity of hazard on your meal so let's uh, let's understand typically what why we define it every part of this uh, hazard uh, type the physical hazard we must know first of all what the definition of the physical hazard the physical hazard is an any hard object that could be seen by naked eyes and touched and maybe may like metal screw while frying of this fried potato or even hair parts from the labors walking or from uh, anybody who was cooking or frying this uh, potato so they must take care of their hair and that we are uh, explaining later on on simply for the about the types of physical hazard okay as you can see there must be there might be a physical hazard in the potato the chemical hazard as we have mentioned before maybe in the roca green leaf the definition of the chemical hazard was uh, was any chemical that could affect the taste of the smell or the smell of the food taste or smell like what like pesticides insecticide from the farm of this uh, roca so there must be control measures by uh, uh, washing of this uh, leaves with uh, clean uh, water we will talk later on on this part in simply Fodia the meat we have mentioned that it might be biological hazard definition of the biological hazard was that any microorganism that can't be seen by naked eyes can be touched tasted or smelled or and uh, maybe like uh, bacteria and viruses and all this uh, microorganism for example in this uh, meal why we mentioned the meat because the meat maybe due to insufficient cooking may result in uh, microbiological hazard or biological hazard by viruses or bacteria uh, present in this uh, type of hazard okay and the last type was allergen hazard the allergen hazard occurs when the body's immune system recognizes a certain kind of food as harmful and reacts by causing some kind of allergic symptoms this allergic symptoms varies from one patient to another or from hum one human being to another and we will know later on and simply for the what are the types of the food allergens that may cause allergic and uh, 
symptoms on the people and what are the history of the allergic hazard and why it is very very important and critical in food industry and how we can control it later on we'll talk about this part okay for example for the allergens are like milk and egg just have a little note at this point the milk was uh, valid to or uh, fit for human consumption and the egg are fit too but the problem that the immune system recognized this good quality milk and good quality egg as in a foreign bodies so there will be an immune system reaction by the allergic reaction to this normal uh, products or normal food to the human being as you can find here there is also another some kind of small test uh, in this photo or in this meal very tasty meal what are the four hazards here as you can mention uh, let's see where we can find the physical hazard yes also on the potato there may be during this uh, mixing of this uh, potato there may be any physical hazard okay where we can find the so let's say the allergic hazard sorry the chemical hazard okay the chemical hazard also might be in this uh, vegetables here okay the biological hazard may be also insufficient cooking or insufficient uh, boiling of this uh, meat in the water by cooking different cooking temperatures or very low cooking temperature so there will not be any killing of the microorganism in the meat and the last thing was the allergen hazard maybe due to the pasteurized egg and the mayonnaise in this meal so as a food safety standards we must all have the knowledge about the physical hazard allergens chemical hazard biological hazard to understand what exactly what are the controls of them even if in the kitchen or in food industry uh, as in a whole by restaurants factories and manufacturing processes all these things we must understand it thank you all again and don't forget to subscribe the simply podia channel and if you like the video don't forget to like it and share it just a small note that each other will be explained in detail separately in the upcoming videos only on our simply for the channel don't forget to subscribe and share and thank you very much and you're always welcome to our ch channel and if there is any feedback you want to discuss it and if there is any information you want to to want me to clarify it please don't hesitate to contact me and i will answer it for you thank you again